Our university is quite a high-ranking research university, so naturally many of our alumni also end up in quite high-ranking jobs and industries, as well as in, in research, academic research. Now, our university is quite closely connected to many large companies. Uh, to name a few, maybe uh, I can name a couple of companies like Google and Deloitte, uh, the, the major uh, players are all here. And our students usually end up uh, doing internships there and maybe even ending up there. And then a large part of our students also decides to start for themselves and start their own company. Uh, so entrepreneurial spirit is definitely an important thing that we uh, encourage in our students as well. What is really unique uh, at the FU University doing a master course that uh, uh, we always have group assignments and within these group assignments we are really intellectually pushed and encouraged to think critically. We have to collaborate in one group with with different people from different countries, there are conflicts, you know, pressure, just like in a real working environment. But it's really, really like a challenging, you know, task, you know, to carry out. But obviously, uh, you can make some friends, you know, in this way also. First of all, I've been to Amsterdam before and I absolutely fell in love with the city. And I thought it was gorgeous. And I like the fact that the FU is located in Amsterdam. So that's a huge advantage. And uh, I was searching for a study within my field that I had very particular uh, needs uh, to some, some knowledge that I wanted to acquire. And what I really liked about the Comb Master, which I followed, is called Culture Organization and Management, is that it's, very, it's a very unique program. And there's nothing like that in all of Europe. Personally, when it comes to teaching method, I really, really like uh, at the few university that they have these these periods, you know, throughout the the, the academic year, and we have uh, really nice articles and up-to-date articles, like really, really good teaching materials, you know, to to better understand, you know, the dynamics of that course and that specific area you are studying in, and you have these periods, and you only have uh, to to study and really. Um, acquire a deeper knowledge you know within those articles and in the end of the period there is the exam so it's really easy step-by-step -step learning with small proportion. The uniqueness in our department is that we combine different fields um, such as human movement sciences, psychology, uh, physiotherapy, orthopedics, other health sciences and that we combine it with experimental research skills so that is what brings um, a lot of originality to our department. Amsterdam is, is, is really amazing, you know, it's like a really vibrant city, you know, it's like the canals are beautiful and it's really small, you know, so if you have a bike, you know, you can easily, you know, get around, you know, really fast and you know, everything is really close, the houses are amazing and regarding the Dutch culture, I think they are really, really friendly and they're really open-minded, you know, towards, you know, new cultures, you know, they're really also, um, curious and acceptable you know towards new culture for example you know when I go around the city and everybody asks me you know where I'm from you know what I'm doing here you know so they are really friendly you know and they are also uh, um, know a lot about adult cultures. And many students of course they, they look for uh, for jobs after they graduate and a large part of them does that in the Netherlands. Um, in the Netherlands we have quite a good system for that. Um, our government allows students from non-EU countries to stay for uh, up to one year to find an appropriate job, we call that a search year. And then the EU students, so students from the EU area, of course they are free to move around and uh, find jobs within that uh, EU zone anyway. I get a lot of support from uh, the FU team. Um, during my application process they help me uh, with applying my student visa with the immigration services in Holland and also they helped me with a student grant that I was applying for. It was quite com complicated for me uh, being international student because I'm not aware of um, the procedure here in the Netherlands. So the team has helped me a lot with this and they got to me uh, back very quickly uh, during the application process. Yeah, I was happy about it. The application process is fully online, so basically students uh, yeah, knock on our digital door and, uh, and send us all their application documents like CVs, motivations, those kinds of things. And what we look at mostly is academic performance. So we look at, at transcripts, at previous education, maybe at the types of courses you have done in the past, the types of literature you've used during those courses even. So uh, mostly it's that we look at the education and then uh, the second thing we look at is your entire profile, so your motivation, your CV, and maybe your thesis you've written in your bachelor, those kinds of things. Well, one really interesting thing about the VU is that it tries to attract international talent and um, 
the way that it does that is through the fellowship program scholarship. I applied, once I applied for the master program, I also applied for the scholarship and I was one of the nominated people, uh, so I was really happy. So I got to come over here and my tuition was fully covered by the scholarship and alongside they also offer a lot of uh, career advice and they, they organize networking events to put these fellowship students in touch with major companies here in Amsterdam to get your career started.